Yeah, it's a tragic morning here. So the 16-year-old boy, he had just finished a shift at McDonald's where he worked with his twin sister. They actually got a lift here home. It was when they got out of that car that somebody started firing at them. You can see there on the ground a McDonald's bag and a wrapper right in front of their home. Police tell us this happened before 11 p.m. on Ferriston Drive near the Philly and Montgo border. Family told police the teen and his sister they worked at McDonald's about a mile away. They finished work at 10 p.m., ordered a lift, which dropped them off right in front of their home. When they got out, police say it was two males who came toward them, opened fire, hitting the boy in the torso, the back, and in the head. They fired at least 15 shots. Police say he was clearly the target. The sister was not hit. She was able to run home. She's talking to police now, but police, they found the boy laying on the sidewalk. They rushed him to the hospital. That's where he died. So as of now, they don't have a set motive. They talked to other employees at that McDonald's who say that they hadn't seen any fights, no altercations, especially involving the 16-year-old. So police are in continuing their investigation. They did find a weapon here on the street, a semi-automatic gun they found on the sidewalk. So they're hoping that'll help. They also say there's a lot of surveillance video, a lot of ring cameras at homes nearby. And there were some witnesses that they're talking to. So they're hoping all of that helps them in their investigation. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.